Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and today we're going to talk about a, an enormously important issue, and that is should you service your electric car or should you not? Before I tell you, before I tell you what I think you should do, and I tell you what I do, I just want to say that um, it is absolutely true that uh, electric cars require by far less servicing than internal combustion engine cars because simply they have by far less moving parts <coughs> you know ice cars have plugs and valves and radiators and carburetor and and and, and spark plugs and oil and a lot of a lot of stuff that needs to be replaced and serviced so it's understandably so that they need to have regular and maintenance that uh, need to be uh, replaced and need to be serviced in order for it to run properly and not to cause more damage now we all have horror stories of going to the um, of going to the to the dealership for oil change and then coming back with the three thousand dollar bill uh, because they found 17 things that you didn't know even exist but that's um, if you have a really bad dealership I, I I am not in the camp of bashing dealership. I I uh, have wonderful experience with a few of the dealerships that I work with. They're wonderful, honest people. And if you find somebody that is crooked, you just don't use them anymore and give them a bad review. But besides that, I'm taking this apart. Uh, it's true that uh, uh, electric cars have very, very few moving parts. The two main components is the drive uh, uh system, the drive system the engine the motor the, the the electric motor and the um uh battery so those are very important uh however no matter what car you drive the tires uh and the brakes and the wiper blades have to be looked at and especially 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 the tires i mean tires is the heart of the is the heart of the the, uh, the, the, the of the car i mean if you have worn out tires or if they're not aligned or if they're not properly maintained you can can cause you a serious damage so there's no question about whether you do it yourself or you have the the the, the, the dealership do it for you or your local guy do it for you you must do that that doesn't has nothing to do with what propels the the, the car forward so that has to be taken a look at. Wiper blades, that's easy. You know, you can see yourself if if your wiper blades are not working properly. You can go to the local uh, Sears or the local whatever auto store and get uh, get wiper blades and put it yourself or have the guy put it for you. Again, not a big deal. <clears throat> and uh, and brakes, well, brakes, now now there's an issue. So with, with an ice car, brakes last, I don't know, 20, I mean, I remember from the, my days, back in the day, Back in the day when I used to drive ice car, yuck! Um, I used to change, I don't know, every 20,000 miles. Uh, the Nissan Leaf right now has uh, maybe 20, maybe 25,000. I don't remember. I really don't. I honestly don't remember. But I remember replacing them all the time, uh, brake pads. I have on my Leaf over 30,000 miles. I have on my Volt over almost 45,000 miles and the brakes not even a mention. Okay, so brakes in electric cars because of their kinetic energy and the regeneration will last you a long time. However, you should look into them. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You should take your electric car for regular service, 5,000 5, or 7,500 miles. For one, for two reasons, but one of them is really more important than the other. Let me give you the less important, but it's extremely important, if you know what I mean, is that you drive a car, you should take a look at the engine, at the uh, motor f uh, uh, cooling, uh, battery cooling, the motor uh, uh, health, it's not expensive it's something that you should do so that is goes without saying whether you lease the car or you or you own the car but most important thing is that if you don't take it let's say you do the brakes by yourself and you do the tires by yourself and the wiper blades by yourself and if you don't take your car to check the uh, motor and the, the electric motor and the um and the uh, uh inverter and the and the battery 
If something happens, you are screwed because the, the, the dealership and the manufacturer will tell you, you didn't bring your car for checkups. You are the cause of what happened. Now, you know, still, maybe it will change in the future, but still, the battery is a very expensive component of the car, especially in the first five years or seven years, depending on your warranty uh, scheme. You must bring, you must check it regularly. It's worth the money. Don't be a penny wise and a pound foolish. Do that because if something happened, you have a paper trail of, ma of regular maintenance schedule that you brought your car and it got all the, the clearance. And especially if there is, um, if there is a recall, my, my Chevy Volt has at least two recalls, maybe three. I don't remember what they were, but it, it had it for sure. What about the heating system? Okay, so you have to take your car, whether it's necessary or not, quote unquote, you have to take it just for that reason. Because if it's under warranty and you didn't take it, they're going to find a way. I remember, I remember, you know, in my Ford Explorer back in the day, I don't remember what it was, but the first thing he asked me, do you bring your car regularly? And I said, okay, here are the documents and always keep your documents. You got to have documentation because that's very important to show that you are a responsible owner, that if something big happened and something, I mean, it's one in a million, but you don't want to be that one, then that you can show uh, if they need to replace your motor, if they need to replace your um, inverter or your battery or whatever it is. So that's why you should take it. I, I think most of you or all of you should agree with me. Let me know if you agree. I, I, let me know what you do. I'm anal retentive. I am Mr. Take the car, maintain the car well, uh, 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 take care of it. I mean, it's, it's, it's it, your life. I mean, it's your life depending on it. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a machine that you take on the road. You don't want something stupid to happen to it and cause, uh, cause an accident or something. So you should take it all the time tire rotation, tire air pressure, brakes, everything you should do on a regular basis. It's okay. You pay some money. It's by far, I mean, I go to the, to my Nissan dealer. It's like, it's like, I have nothing to do. I say, check the damn car. I don't care. And one thing I've tell you, whether it's Nissan or, or Ford or whatever, whatever electric car I have, they have a special technician, a special electric car technician that just does this just does this and in my dealership he comes on certain days so i cannot just go and take it he has to be i have to make sure that he's available that day so you take it because they have a person dedicated to that so you should um you should do that so heed my advice maintain your car even though if and it will it's less expensive by far less expensive i paid nothing for my for my for my chef for my um chevy uh uh, uh, uh volt which had in my dealer had like a uh, I think two years of uh, free maintenance and with the leaf, a leaf is really nothing, pennies to run, but do it. It's worth it. All right. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I got so many subscribers. Keep subscribing. Let's get to 2000 subscribers this week. Click, click, click. And most importantly, share my videos and help me change the world one electric car at a time.